Hey guys, down the beach with Pina today. There's some uh, surfing competition going on. Yeah, it's a bit overcast today, but my solar panel is charging very nicely. And this thing doesn't need a lot of sunlight to be putting power into your battery. The blue flashing light there tells you it's um, it's charging, it's it's working, doing its thing. Uh, I, I got mine stuck to the screen. You don't. You could just lay it on your dash or put it in any of, any of your windows, really. I just run the cable straight into. I got a cigarette lighter in here, which is really handy. But you could just use your ordinary cigarette lighters, of course, or hook it up to the battery. If your cigarette lighters are not live when you turn off your ignition and it's easy to find out, you just plug something in. Plug something in and if it uh, works without your ignition on, you're good to go. Otherwise use a crocodile clips. Like I say, I, I use all kinds of stuff in here. I got a fan up here for peanut. Hey, nuggy. Yeah, I, I often leave the fan running if peanuts in the van, if I'm popping into a shop or something. So it's a 7.5 watt solar panel. There's the manual there for it. There's the uh, crocodile clips that come with it, if you need them. Well, here you can see, even though it's a drizzly day here, it's charging away nicely. And you can connect with the crocodile clip straight up to your battery terminal if your cigarette lighter is not compatible. Yeah, I love this thing because um, I, I know I got the confidence it's it's keeping my battery topped up no matter what, especially when I'm in weird places like out in the desert or, or you know up in the mountains somewhere that would be real inconvenient to not be able to start your start the vehicle. <laughs> and of course I'm always running cameras and recharging all kinds of gadgets. And for camping, it's 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 awesome. Yeah. And for you guys that live somewhere cold, like I don't know, when it's cold in the winter, like Oklahoma, where your your battery uh, is about you lose about sixty percent of the power of your battery once you start getting to minus degrees. Anyway, that's it. Just thought some of you guys might. Uh, might like to see one of these things and if you've ever thought about them before well worth getting there's a link in description that will take you to Amazon and take you to this very one that I use and there's also a, a this is 7.5 watts there's another one that's sort of half of that power but these are the good panels they don't take much sunlight to keep the things running so if you're living somewhere that's overcast and raining a lot, say like um, up in Washington State or Oregon or somewhere like that, where you, where you don't get an awful lot of sunshine, and a lot of this kind of weather, <laughs> well, they work perfectly good. I just showed you it working in this kind of weather. That's it. Thanks for watching my videos. Catch you later. Congratulations on a 5.5 meter feet on a 4.0.